Welcome to Time Bolt Office Hours on July 7, 2022, where we are here to answer your questions, check your workflows, and just basically make sure you're getting the best out of Time Bolt. And today we have our, our co founder, Quinston. Kevin, how are you doing? Welcome to Time Bolt Office Hours with uh, Doug and Quinston. Nice to meet you. So, Kevin, can you give me a little bit of backstory about uh, how you got into video, what kind of video you make, how you found Time Bolt, and what, what problems that you might be having? Uh, so, I. I'm a mathematician, I've uh, created uh, textbooks for university and schools here in South Africa and um, I've done quite a lot of, I've done like I think 10,000 videos at the moment into the textbooks but the issue that I was having with Camtasia is that the truncating of silence was always manual and taking my time and I couldn't focus on the content so I found Time Bolt recently, I had it on my old machine uh, and I've put it on, on this, this machine I'm using now and um, when I went on holiday to Portugal recently, I was trying to do some uh, some editing and then it just was going blank. Okay, so it opens here. I'm just going to take a... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so I'll try and I'll put it in. Now it does this and then it just goes black. So I can... There's that thing popping up there. If I click spacebar, oh, let's get started. you can hear. And then like I can't like do... Oh, there. Now it came up. <laughs> now it came up, but then up here it's not. Is it flickering on and off? I don't understand. Is it like... Or is this Zoom? Like on Zoom, it's showing it's like going to black. I've never seen anything. Yeah, else. it's happening on Zoom and actually. It's actually the, on your. On my side too, yeah. Weird. Hold on, hold on. let's see if we can see the settings. Long. I, I don't even know what the heck. I've never seen anything like yeah. that. Point five, point oh one, point one five. Yeah, I mean the settings look all within the. And this just started so happening to all your videos? Yes, yeah, every single one. So I can, let me just go back in and I'll show you. It, it, how it's, do you capture? It doesn't matter where the video is. Yeah. How do you capture? Um, what I do is I I record um, a, a Camtasia file like this, like the red file there. I produce it, so I produce it into an MP4, like something like this. Then I drag the MP4 here, and or just select it, and then I do the truncating of silence in Time Vault itself, and then that. I think it might be like a co codec issue with the way it's captured that wasn't account. I, I don't think it's a file issue. Something to do with the compatibility of the software. Yeah, I think it has got to do with why that, because actually, which window, a version of which Windows are you on? I think you might be have a point there because I've deliberately kept this as Windows. I think this is Windows 10. Um, on my other machine where it's working, I am on Windows 11. Uh, the reason why I didn't upgrade okay. this one to Windows 11 is because the place that I had to record the video is here in OneNote. It was okay. glitching on my on, on Windows 11, so I went back. And so I don't want to go like update and do stuff like that. So, so Win Windows 10 is supported. I mean, it should work on Windows 10. Uh, can can you give me some uh, the, the spec sheet of your machine? Is that possible? Okay. Yeah. So I should go here then, right? So. Okay. So if you go to control panel, click mm -hmm. on the main option, the top top level item, system and security. Ring one system. Yeah, yeah, the system. Oh, system. that's right. Yeah, yeah, over there. Okay, make it bigger. Dude. I need to think about this a little bit. I'm not sure why it's turning black because that that looks like a performance issue more than a. Where I've got time bolts on. This is Windows 11. Okay, let me go into time bolt here to show you. It doesn't do it with this machine. It doesn't do it here. I don't know if you can see. Can you see the screen still? Mm -hmm. On my yeah. video. Okay, there it will load and then it. it does this one i've yeah. put it on dark mode and then there it does it fine of, or, or okay where about Which, would i get that from um I and mean, one, one of the best ways is to take your model num number of, of your laptop and then search if there are any updated drivers or you can go to the control panel and go into display and then there's a find uh, update drivers option so now now I, either there will be an, a new driver update which that's possible or 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 you have to manually find one online i don't think it's a performance thing because your laptop seems capable um i i don't think it's a it's a codec thing because it doesn't have anything to do with the video so it's it's either yeah i mean it, it was working before did this this thing before it only started yeah doing it a, a week or so ago and that was in and around the time where time vault was an update it was an update or something i remember and it was immediately or around that vicinity of time where it started doing the top half is just the loading of it before it was never doing this now it's actually mm -hmm. better it's actually i can still see the bottom which is fine i mean i don't really mind if i can still do work I'll see the timeline and still well, um set the parameters and stuff still be fine was it able to find a new driver yeah it, it did find something uh, i think so let me have a look yeah, it's downloading. Well, how about... Let's see, best travel. Yeah, as long as this doesn't update to Windows 11 or whatever, because I think this this is the business laptop, and then I was told not to, but it shouldn't, right? So if it just does updates. Windows 10 still. 
Okay, there's a whole bunch of things that still need to be updated here, so it might be one of these things. I just asked Siri. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah. Performance or like that there is something going on which we don't know, like something that has changed with the laptop. Yeah, I mean, obviously this isn't ideal because what this means is is that you're still you're still cutting retakes and stuff like oh, yeah. that. I, I I just noticed something. It only doesn't show the video. Yeah, it only doesn't show the top parts. It, 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 I never knew this before. It only shows the bottom, but it shows from where I can still edit and. The, the top part's just the loading of yeah. the mp4 so I mean, once you I go to the video down. once you go to the video it it becomes black so yeah, you can't see that. any part of the video the video that's box it. is there's a problem with the video box yeah it's a problem with the video box exactly but i can still do the parameters i can still yeah you do can do that stuff. Yeah. so it should be fine i mean can you play the I sound can, as long as I can, can you hear the sound if you play it yep i'll show you now it's right okay let's play in there oh yeah you can hear the sound yeah so that's still fine I, it, it's actually okay now i thought before when i was in portugal i couldn't even go down so it was black the whole thing but now i'm noticing that it's actually fine i can still work around this do you watch any well, YouTube you, videos on this machine? um look i've never had the, the need to really so um what i'll do is i'll just uh, update as you said see if it changes you might want to hit uh, stop I mean, share let you guys know but Let's see there you go. Yeah, so I think there's something wrong with the video box. Yeah, but it's All okay. Right. It's still workable for now. Mm -hmm. I can still get cool. my stuff done. Do you want to? Uh, and I guess it wouldn't have any. It wouldn't help to have a test file, for instance, since no, you're on Windows 11. Not. Yeah. Okay. No. Perfect. Uh, is there anything else that we can, Kevin? Do you have any other issues besides not being able to see your video in Time Bolt on Windows 10? No, the program's been exceptional, man. It's been brilliant. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. And uh, I thank you for joining us, Kevin. And of course, we're here every week. If you have any questions, just uh, come jump back on. OK, we want to make sure your workflow is uh, up to speed and fast. So thank you for choosing Time Bolt. And Ivan, nice to meet you. It looks like you're on mute. Yes. Uh, sorry for my English. I speak very bad. Damn it. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I only want to say the tool is fantastic. Awesome. Oh, thank you. It's the best tool I, I bought him many times. Well, thank I'm you. Thank using you. Using it to make videos for LinkedIn and TikTok. Oh, Very excellent. Good. Very good. So you use it to make video for TikTok. How do you do? Can, can you can you tell me the process of how you make video for TikTok with Timebolt? This is the process. Do you know Quick Split Broadcaster, a Logi camera, web camera, and with this webcam they have a trial pay period x split broadcast and yeah. also have for the the webcam and i can remove the background with with me without make chroma yep. then i uh, both tools are of the same company mm. okay then i i remove my background and i record uh, the screen using snagit because snagit is optimized the the records mm less uh, the, the the file is smaller than Small. in broadcast mm. it's very very good tool to record Snagit. And after that, I export to Camtasia. And in Camtasia, I make the things like, like that. Uh, perfil, where is my perfil? I see Snagit is the same company that did uh, Camtasia. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. I was, I was like, man, Snagit. That sounds awfully familiar. And is in with Snagit, is there like a TikTok? Like, is it just a perspective thing that you that you use them for? Like, are you like cropping yours to like one by one square or four by three? I, this one. I make something like this. This is the recording. No. And I make the vertical Absolutely. dimensions. Are, are you are, are you transcribing? Like, are you having trans? Are you like writing the no. words? Okay. No. TikTok is tra transcribed automatically. Can, may, I, may I make a recommendation to you? Uh, and this could be complete. Like, there's a there's a company called uh, Clipscribe. Okay, uh, Clipscribe, and they'll take your. 16 by 9 video or whatever however you're capturing that looks like a 16 by 9 that you're just kind of centering it up right they'll take that stick it into a um, social format for you and then auto transcribe your words so what's nice is with time bolt once you cut out all the dead air and kind of the like the the like just the parts that shouldn't be there 
it makes these transcription services like 10 times more valuable, easier to do. Like the timing works out, you're spending far less time, you know, adding seconds here and taking away seconds. So you could be able to crank out some TikTok videos like this with full transcriptions uh, through a combination of Clipscribe, time bolt to Clipscribe. And what is the name? Clipscribe, C-L-I-P-S-C-R-I-B-E. Clipscribe. Mm -hmm. Sound all the words but when i export and words are cut why yes okay so that is probably going to be a settings issue can you open up time bolt and show me what your settings are if any words yes. if any words are getting cut if there's that's just kind of a general note to everyone if there's any words getting cut you should not be having to make little tweaks here and there and increasing the size of the right padding once it's in xml that's just this is just all a settings issue you can get it all right in time bolt so let's go ahead and throw any one of your files in and your default settings what you used last time should be there i i have to load the file yeah just uh pick any video file that you would typically do that's not already done okay now you looks like you got great audio fantastic Okay, so so ignore so I what I would recommend what I would recommend is putting this see let's go up to your timeline and just kind of scroll through. Let's just go down the timeline just to make sure I'm not missing something. Yeah, there you go. We're just gonna scroll through. We're gonna take a quick look at anything that's being cut, not cut, right? There was one back there in yeah, the red. Yeah, I'm gonna let's see, hold on just a oh, second. But you see this okay. uh, the problem the, um, the, when i i see the video port from time bolt and when i put it in camtasia it's perfect the problem is when i export the renderer file on what i see yeah. before export yeah so we have seen this issue before with camtasia export so sometimes the camtasia encoding is not compatible and it, it has some timing issues. Yeah. So one of the, I don't know why it happens with Camtasia, but we have received reports that Camtasia is there's something happening there. Yes. We have tried to fix it before, but we don't know how to fix it. The solution that I usually recommend is that uh, to make sure that it's perfect and it's, you know, backwards compatible with Camtasia, there's an option at the bottom. You like scroll down to the bottom. There's that uh, export a TSC proj file. This file will essentially re export a uh, all the clips back into Camtasia, and then you can export the final from Camtasia directly instead of having to export from. from okay, I I try this option. Okay, I know how to do that. that is, oh, so that you is, weren't doing it this way? You were doing it just straight exporting from yeah, time. Yeah, so I, and this happens only with Camtasia. So we have yeah. tested Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Filmora, everything. But oh, do you listen this problem before? Yes, we have seen this problem. So there is some issue and, with like the encoding you, of. How do you see the? my my numbers are okay yeah, yeah. Perfect. Oh, okay so what i what i would recommend though I think uh, what i would recommend move silence is longer than 0.5 okay i i just you know 0.2 is just really aggressive remove silence is longer than 0.5 you're at right now it's 0.2 yeah. yes and then over here ignore detection shorter than i would put at 0.75 uh, uh any 0.75 I've tested a thousand different videos and that this just is the most important, you know, you're just, it just knocks out the exact right types of words. So hit update silence detection settings. And then we're going to go look uh, per Kevin's, uh, per Kevin's uh, deal, hit update silence detection. And okay. So now let's go back up to the timeline and scroll through. Uh, more yeah, space at the end. Right. But, but it didn't cut out that random word, word. Hmm. here now so What's let's that? here let's see now let's go let's put your cursor over hold on yeah let's listen to what that says yeah, yeah. put it before that so you can there you go hit space bar i can't hear anything what's it say is it important i mean you can allow it you can, you can allow it but uh yeah that's typically there's not words that are that size kind of out in the middle of things hmm. But uh, yeah, that's that's something you may want to allow. Okay, Just it's okay. Hit, yeah, this, yeah, that's so good. If, if you put the 0.75 to 0.5, that part will stay in. So if you change this to 0.5, that thing that is not detected right now will be detected. Uh. So it, depending on how how long it is, if it's too too. If it's below 0.75, it will be chucked out and not. Detected. Which is indicative of most like ums and ahs, right? Like um, mm -hmm. ah, that aren't connected to like another sentence, right? So typically a uh, a noise like that would just be like a 
you know, a cough or a mic strike. So that's, that's where that is. And so if you go to, um, in order to learn how to use our Camtasia, uh, Camtasia plugin, if you go, if you go to timebolt.io and then on the homepage, it'll say, how do you want to export? And then just click Camtasia and follow those instructions that are on that webpage. Okay. Cause there, it, there's steps to it. Kevin, like, it, it, I, I mean, once you learn the steps, it gets easier. Would you say so? Or, or do you agree with that or not? So I saw that page um, and I've followed in general where you um, would produce the raw file with Camtasia. You get the red file, then you would export to MP4, put that into time bolts, do the cutting and then export. Now, I never use the TSC Proj plugin you have on the bottom. Uh, I just put the MP4, the filtered one, back into my original project, removed the raw, and um, and then just kept the filtered one. And that usually works pretty well for me. If you have any optimizations on that that would make it yeah, quicker, so, then yeah, I'd that's, very much wouldn't yeah, yeah. The TSC Proj file is supposed to just get the cuts and put them into Camtasia Direct. So you don't have to export oh. the file. But what True, he's saying is his like, source file is source file though is being caught by Snagit so it's like you have to export an mp4 first right is that what you're no, that, you have to do it first yeah obviously. yeah, yeah. You, you need an MP4 the time, yeah. but then you don't have to like export from time bolt again like you don't have to export in time bolt. you can use the cut Camtasia and then do the final things changes you want to do and then render it directly through Camtasia instead of in your time well Will that be an, a separate um, TSE project file or will it be the same one? It'll be a different one. So if you're recording and you yeah. have the recording in a TSE project file, the new file will be a separate. But I mean, that will save a lot of time because I won't have to drag in the new filtered ones every time and delete the exactly. old ones. It would just be a brand new file, which would be my new one. It'll, it'll have all the cuts in there. I'll give that a try. It'll save you like one pass. Um, I, w I got Time Bolt uh, a little while ago, actually, and I'm, I'm using DaVinci Resolve. And just the way it works, you know, I'm like doing tutorials with, I'm recording audio uh, through my computer and then camera and screen recording uh, different uh, recordings. And so, you know, I've been doing the um, multicam, you know, the way. I would imagine that you're probably still editing your timeline inside Resolve, like making those cuts and need it to be linked up because you're still deleting mistakes and retakes out of like that exact you know, out of out of resolve. It's possible because you don't know the quick keys inside Time Bolt that you just don't do all of your editing right there inside Time Bolt, right? You like all of your cut work. It is actually faster to do. It not only just cuts dead air, but how you remove retakes and mistakes and cut out individual. Our goal would be is that you, when you import that timeline into resolve, you're only doing editing. You know, you're only doing design work. There is no more cutting to do. So it in fact negates the need to link those right away. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Probably the main problem for me with that is that um, I, at least I haven't been able to uh, get it the automat automatic cutting perfect as far as like sometimes it'll cut off like if I trail off on the end of an S or something. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and I really like to have very tight cuts between a uh, different chunk. Uh, I feel like I still need to sometimes just adjust end of those uh, edits a little bit after the fact and that can kind of be slow. Yeah, yeah that can be time consuming and, and, and all that. Yeah. I, I don't think you have probably don't have any more exacting standards and some of them are most more exacting customers right i i think it's just more of a settings issue so if okay. you if we can see what you're using in time bolt it's not intuitive the settings just aren't you know absolutely intuitive to where mm -hmm. so, so if sometimes you'll say oh i'm trailing off it's not catching my long s and p sound so why don't i just go ahead and increase right padding to you know 0 0.20 and then what do i do with the left padding when in fact all of that has to be controlled with your decibel level volume, okay? We get that right first. Okay. Everything else, like, I don't even think you should change left and right padding, right? Oh, okay. From what, from 0.01 to 0.15. But I have to see your screen. Yeah, I'm just, oh, okay. I just pulled up. First here, I'll show you the thing. Um, So when I select one clip here, so I default imported, line them all up. You know, if I select one clip here, only selecting that clip. Uh, We're seeing a good, oh, oh, you mean the workflow? It, it yeah, makes total go. sense. Link yeah, clips. you got to link them and... Right. Yeah, it's it, so now if I here. try to select just like one clip, yeah, just select all of them, and then you know I I can't do so. I, I assume that's the issue that you've already seen. Let me see yeah, if I yeah. can bring up Time Bolt with 
the... Yeah, okay, so Lair, let's let's do the settings, okay? Let's ignore resolve right now. So go up to your timeline. I can already tell you left, let's see. Let's go ahead and start, let's start back at base, basics. Let's put our left padding to 0.01 and your right padding to 0.15. And then hit update silence detection settings. Okay, now we're gonna look at your timeline here and let's see, well, yeah. There we go. Oh, okay, you're using the audio normalization. I, I don't even think you need to do that with this. I, I, I wouldn't even do that. You have clean enough audio. There's no reason to make it. So if you scroll back up and That's check all those, then do you, I guess you have you to have restart the app. Detection, no, you have to restart the app. Oh, okay. Um, system for that, but I, I'll have to try it uh, with deleting the audio in there. But yeah, I think that's part of my problem. I was trying to use a left and right padding instead of uh, DB the level. decibel level. Yeah, so with the key, the key with the decibel level, you're going to increase it to capture more audio and decrease it to capture less. I've never seen projects go anywhere. There, the spectrum I've seen is anywhere between minus 30 to minus 42. Okay, if you're anywhere outside okay. of that, there's, your audio is probably captured incorrect and quiet audio. pretty quiet audio i didn't record it i usually record my audio comparatively quiet just uh, from having works so i should probably do it louder okay well so so you, as you can see your audio lots of red stuff is being captured right uh -huh. so you want to increase to capture more audio decrease to capture less so, so basically you, like go to negative th th or third anyway I, I can experiment around with those well, settings um, and see yeah, yeah, that looks more like it. What is, what did that capture right there? What was that like noise right there? Yeah, I think the reason that I had turned on, it was just, it was just the, the last syllable I said. I think the reason that I had turned on audio normalization or volume was because of these particular, but I'll tell you uh, like to be able yeah. to see, right? Like I, I, yeah, this is really low audio. I, I understand why you did, why you did that. But yeah, I think with the decibel levels, I, I, what I would recommend you get the decibel levels, and right now I can see that you're still clicking around on like, let's see, you got 4.5.0. If I could make a recommendation to you, scroll up. See that timeline question mark next to timeline right there? Okay, watch this video. This is going to show you how to rapidly edit your timeline. You don't need to be clicking around like with, with clicks and stuff, because that's, yeah, that's... I actually looked at most of the cool. uh, shortcuts and stuff. I just actually time bolt probably. I'm not sure why my internet connection has anything. Does it like uh, process it through the internet? Or... Can, can I do a file new and lo load up the same file? Also, just one thing I was thinking about, just maybe sort of a feature suggestion for um, multicam is if there would be some way, now I don't know, you know, really what the strengths of this are, but if you could just like throw uh, a couple of multiple XMLs together already uh, aligned. What do you mean by so that? Basically a uh, time bolt, you know, it, it spits out like one XML track and then you have to manually assemble all that in Resolve. And I was, you know, import single XML that already has all the tracks stacked. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know that's probably something that would be a ways out. So the, 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 the way time bolt works right now it works on one time then at a time. one time then at max can have uh, one video so having multiple video tracks is uh, a limitation from yeah. the ui point of view like the user interface itself doesn't support multiple video tracks mm -hmm. so exporting multiple xmls uh, it is not cohesive with the current way in which time would operate sure, yeah. sure. So unless we were just thinking that plug in uh, un unless there's a plug in which you know directly plugs into uh, sure. davinci resolve where you have to, you can just bypass the entire system. and that's something that we're going to be looking into as well where we've got yeah. direct connection with their support they've been fantastically you know fantastic and helpful yeah Yes. And so your audio tracks, and you know that you've got to, to in order to enable the multi-track audio, you've got to select all the tracks and resolve, and then do a right click, and then clip attributes or yeah. audio attributes. Okay. There was somebody yeah, I, who's having an issue with that before, and I just want to make sure it wasn't you. Yeah. I actually had edited basically a whole video uh, using the time bolt to resolve workflow. It just was kind of inefficient with not being... 100%. And so that's, with that timeline, just remember the the acronym SLOP, okay, for better, for lack of a better, S-L-O-P. S is split a timeline, L is gonna increase the speed of your playhead, O is going to turn scenes on and off, like click O, okay. right? Like click O right now. Yeah, that's that's a nice, right? efficient. And it skips to the next scene. What I want you to do is when you're, when you're previewing, okay, the first thing you're gonna do is go up to the top, okay? Go up to the top and there's, see the preview playback, right? Let's put that one at 1.5X. 
And so okay. what this does is anytime now that you hit the space bar, okay, to start the playhead, right? It's it defaults to 1.5x speed. If you hit okay. hit the L key now, as hit space bar and hit L key, you can go even faster, but it'll always default to 1.5x. So now as you're bruising through okay. the timeline, you can just click O, right? Don't worry about clicking a bar uh, mm -hmm. to turn that off, like if it was a false start or something like that. And yep. then in order to get rid of something in the middle, just put your cursor, like let's say you want to get part, yeah, right there, put it right there. Mm -hmm. No, not on the, t don't, don't do that. Oh, okay. Just don't like don't this. ever click the bar. You never need to click okay. the bar. I'm just telling you, it'll be 10 yeah. times. Uh, now hit S, click okay. S, move to the other side of a word or something, you know? Yeah. There you go, click S. Yeah. And that then you hit, sense. then you tap into it and click O and it turns it off. And then P, okay, or is this gaming footage or anything like uh, this is like color grading uh color grading a time or course tutorial okay well then this is this is made for you okay I, I don't know if so now let's just say that the color grading leave everything the way it is right now okay let's just say you're talking about something on the bottom left hand side of the screen one of those four mm -hmm. circles okay i want you to hit the p key three times okay oh. okay now i want you to hit alt and your arrow key. Oh wow! So you can zoom in direct. That is pretty cool. So then, if like what? Uh, so there's also is there a list somewhere like of all the shortcuts? Right, so the keyboard thing over there. Yeah, the keyboard thing. But that's that's where I was saying. If you just watch that timeline video, okay, it'll go through exactly okay. exactly what I just said. Okay, to give you the four most important keys, and that's really how you're. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, I hadn't really looked into the the key part so much. Uh, I was sort of looking at more of a workflow of uh, you know split in here and then finish. Yeah, it's like more stuff you got to learn, right? It's it's like more it's more right, stuff. Different time, different shortcuts, and yeah. Yeah, it's like more stuff you got to learn, but like that's because at first you want to know, can you cut the dead air out and then can you get the footage in there and then you don't really want to go back and learn a bunch of quick keys right because you already know how to edit inside resolve until you come to realize you can do your first pass editing and just get your a-roll perfect before putting it in there with just knowing s-l-o-p right that'll that's that's the foundational alter enter for the arrow keys yeah, yeah i'll have to uh work on that because I, I really like the idea of that now probably the one other thing that i think was making it hard for me when i was trying to edit directly in here is that you can't it seems like the audio lags a little bit when it goes from one to like it doesn't go quite cleanly between yeah. them and so it's a little bit hard to hear the transition like it kind of has that little kind of lag. lag is that just my computer or it might be because you have the audio normalization settings oh no i i, I think it's just uh, the way the case right now there is a lag okay. it has to speak between the place video in full quality i've never noticed i mean it, it happens to some videos which are like uh, which have a high bit rate <laughs> yeah Maybe it's just what, well, your filter so. below sound level is really bad. It's like, why is it down at minus 24? I don't know. I think it changed itself because I had it set at negative 40. Yeah, let's put that back up at negative 40 and see if that you got to hit update silence detection settings. Uh, okay. I didn't know it just disappeared. When... Well, I think, uh, I mean, does it sound like we anyway. sounds like we've got you on a good, good path here? Yeah, yeah. I think I have some good ideas of what try. Um, yeah, actually one thing that <laughs> I don't know if this is uh, even a doable thing, but I was thinking of trying to create just uh... yeah, and, and hopefully like until we do, hopefully that some of the uh, question or some of the tips here that will allow you to fully edit your timeline and time will help you out and, you know, forego the need for link you yep. know to do as much linking sure. uh as as doing some editing yeah. here so yep for sure yeah thanks so much i think especially that uh tip on not using the left and right padding uh to adjust that is perfect kevin is there anything else that uh we can help you with are you good to go uh, not, yeah not really i mean i'm just gonna I, i'm just gonna put these updates on and then give my system a refresh and see if it will work okay uh, and if, if there is any issues then i'll let you know I, I tried it again now and then the whole thing was black again so it's like when we had it on it was i could still see something but now i tried it again and it's not so i'm gonna have to see if it, it must be the updates because there's tons of them that need to be installed so it must be at least one of these please let us know please let us know if yeah. uh, if you find out what the uh situation is and i'll share that information with quinson and Awesome. Excellent. Thank you for joining us, Kevin. John, are, are you good to go? Yep, I think good to go. I think that basically answered my question. Okay, excellent. Well, I appreciate you all uh, choosing Timebolt uh, 
Uh, Quinston, do you have anything else you'd like to add before we close down? Uh, no. Okay, great. And we've got the end product training videos. Those are brand new and 4.5.0. And uh, uh, but that's all. That's what we have for time old office hours on July 7, 2022. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button, like us, and always hit the notification bell or we will cry. So thank you very much. And uh, we're out of time.